in 2005, there was somewhat of a, I think, a compromise made back then on joint and several liability where if you was over 51%, then you can be held liable for the entire amount. And uh, after that compromise has been made, we've seen over and over that that has somewhat been abused to the court systems, to the attorneys that have done it. And they've just really went after the deep pockets, frankly, is what they do. Or they try to bring people into a lawsuit uh, to try to, to get them to be able to fund those lawsuits or be able to use that percentage of money. So what uh, really joint several, if you really just held the people accountable for whatever portion it is, you know, common sense is going to tell you that's the right thing to do. And for our business arenas in the state of Missouri, it has cost us an extremely amount of money to do business because you have to worry about this lawsuit, even though you're maybe just 51%, you very easily could be held responsible for 100% of it. And it's just, uh, to, to me, it's a, it's a fairness issue and, uh, you know, it's about doing the right thing. And that, that's why I've got involved with it and why we're going to try to move that legislation forward this year. Business arena pretty well are familiar with this because they, they hear the, the horror stories that go along with it or they or were attorneys you know they're going to sue multiple people or multiple uh, people that's involved in this just for the deep pocket side of it and when when I think the normal public starts realizing that hey I'm only 51 percent at fault but regardless I got to pay the whole bill that just cuts against fundamental rights of all of us uh, that, you know it's not the right thing to do and, and so that's why I think it's important that if you if you were responsible for 75 percent of what happened then I'm all for paying 75 percent and I think most people would be but if you're not it's not my responsibility because somebody else ain't kept up their end of the bargain that I got to go in there and pay their obligation that's just fundamentally wrong and and we need to take a look at that and just just to make it where whatever portion of it is that's what you ought to pay when you get done you ought to be able to walk away and go back and either run your business or go back and live your life uh, a normal life any kind of tort reform or legal for, for legal obligations to the business community is something everybody looks at when they come to your state I mean, if you, you think trying to go out there on the economic development side of that and try to recruit businesses, you don't think the, those corporations, those companies wanting to come here are not going to look at their obligation. It just makes good business sense to take a look at all that. And when they see that versus a state that don't have it, you know, common sense is going to tell you they're going to take a harder look at that other state. So without a doubt, the Missouri Chamber will be a huge player in this uh, joint and severable issue. Uh, and they have a lot to stake with the people that are supporting them, but uh, I think the Missouri Chamber, without a doubt, will be the key leader in leading this to legislation to get it passed. And uh, without their help, I think it would be a much more uphill climb than it is. But I think with their resources and uh, they get their business folks behind it and they get behind it, I think you're going to see we got a lot better shot of getting it done. Business community, just start contacting your legislators, both whether they be a representative, both a senator or, or a statewide uh, official. I mean, the more people that learn about this, the more people you can get out in front of and talk at a rotary, at a chamber, uh, all these private organizations where the normal person is involved in this, I think it helps us all that they realize the importance of what we're doing here and how important it is for individual. I, I just fundamentally think it's individual rights. And we're, we're going to punish somebody for doing everything they're supposed to do, for paying their bills, for paying their insurance, for paying their employees, whatever it might be. But yet the ones that don't, we're going to make those people pay for the bad operators. And that, that's just not right. It's just not right.